I Just Do It Differently, written and illustrated by Donna Grinya. I am Hannah. I am me. I was born with disabilities. I am Hannah. I am eight. I have a sister. Her name's Kate. I spend lots of time in my wheelchair. It's such fun, so I don't care. But sometimes I really do care. Sometimes it can really get to me. Hannah sits in her wheelchair, looking longingly out the window. She sees children kicking through the piles of orange and red and brown and golden leaves. Her eyes fill with tears of frustration. How she wishes she could do what others do. I have a pug. His name is Pixie. Oh my goodness, he's so dipsy. Pixie starts to bounce and spin. I know what's got into him. Pixie Pug seems to read Hannah's mind. He starts spinning round like crazy with his floppy, wet pink tongue flapping about. Pixie thinks that it would be a fine idea for them to go for a walk in the crisp autumn air. Come on, Hannah, you can do it. You can walk. There's nothing to it, barks Pixie. Sometimes I really want to walk. How can I say when I can't talk? I use my voice and make a sound. Use my eyes to look around. My pex book is over there. Mum just knows to bring it here. Hannah's mum brings the communication book and sits it on her lap. Using her eyes and a straining hand, Hannah points to the symbol for walk in her pex book. She feels sad and a bit angry that she can't just talk or walk. Her eyes begin to fill with tears, just as Pixie reappears. Come on, Hannah, you can do it. You can walk, there's nothing to it, barks Pixie. Mum helps put my coat and shoes on. My walker's next, and that's the tough one. Hannah feels worried about using her walking frame. The last few times she tried, she fell, so she just gave up. Hannah's mum brings the yellow walking frame and puts it in front of her. Mum reaches down to make sure the brakes are on, then helps her get into a good position to begin reaching forward to hold and stand. Again I fall down to the floor. I can't do this any more. I'm so cross I start to cry. Pixie licks tears from my eyes. Come on, Hannah, you can do it. You can walk, there's nothing to it, whispers Pixie. Mum helps Hannah up and gives her the biggest hug possible. While wiping away the tears, she tells Hannah that she is so proud of how hard she tries. Mum tells her that if she tries and tries again, that she will be able to walk. Pixie barks in agreement as Mum helps Hannah into her walking frame. Strapped into my walking frame, I'm so glad I try again. Outside the air is crisp and cold, leaves are crunchy, colours bold. Standing steady, leaves I kick, self-belief has done the trick. Pixie runs like crazy spinning around and bouncing about in the crunchy carpet of leaves. He jumps and barks, trying to catch each leaf as they fall from the tree. Hannah, smiling from ear to ear, uses her frame to go outside. She slowly walks along the pavement with Mum and Kate, who is in her pushchair. Hannah enjoys the cool, fresh air and the beautiful colours, a gift from Mother Nature. Hey look, Pixie, I can do it, I can walk. There's nothing to it. My heart is filled with swells of joy. Come on, Pixie, that's my boy. A conker donks him on the head. Pixie pretends to play dead. Little Kate knows what to say. Encouragement is on the way. Come on, Pixie, you can do it. You can walk. There's nothing to it, giggles Kate. Like magic, Pixie jumps up with his pink tongue flopping, gives a cheeky bark and runs off after a squirrel. Hannah is so happy and pleased because she made it outside. She even managed to walk as far as five lampposts before heading back home to some hot chocolate and a well-deserved nap. Hannah drifts off to sleep, feeling satisfied and very proud that she can walk. She just does it differently. I am Hannah. I am me. I am brave, strong like a tree. I am Hannah. I am me. I just do things differently. The end.